recently found a Raspberry Pi project that looked a little daunting at first, but it's actually a lot easier than it seemed. Uh, the codes are pretty simple and it's already done for you for the most part. There's a couple things you're going to need. So this is to put Alexa on a Raspberry Pi. First, you're going to need Raspberry Pi. This is the version 2 and I have a Wi-Fi adapter right here. Um, I recently purchased a microphone uh, off eBay actually and uh, so you're going to need a microphone, a 3.5 uh, millimeter cord and a speaker and that's pretty much all you're going to need to do this. I recently came across a cool article on how to build your own Amazon Echo using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the article's from Lifehacker. I'm going to share it in the link below but basically all of this is from that. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did. It was pretty simple. Um, I only ran into one issue. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would and uh, it was actually pretty straightforward. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go on over to Amazon and create a developer account. So uh, go ahead, I'll include the link in the description. I'll also include the link to that Lifehacker account. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and set up a new device. Uh, I use the name Raspberry Pi. Uh, click Next. Go to Security Profile and create a new profile. Um, obviously, I'm not going to share everything that I already did because I don't want to share my secure ID and things like that um, but it's pretty straightforward and intuitive to go through and set this up so click uh, create new profile uh, under the general tab next to security profile name name your profile do the same for the description click next after this uh, make sure you take note of your device ID your client ID and your client secret you're going to use those later in terminal in order to link this to the uh, Echo web server. Alright, now still within the developer uh, website, you're going to click web settings, click the edit button next to the profile drop down, and uh, next to allowed origins, click add another. There's where you're going to type in uh, add this localhost 3000. And then within allowed return URLs, click add another and type in this bottom one right here. That is pretty much it for the developer account. Uh, once you have all that set up, go ahead and click save. So after that, go ahead over to uh, your Raspberry Pi. You're going to open terminal. Okay, now you're going to install Alexa on your Pi. So go ahead and open a terminal window and type in CD desktop. Once you're in your desktop, you can go ahead and put the actual code in to install Alexa. Second line of code. And once that's done running, go ahead and type in nano automated underscore install dot sh. Yours will look a little different. It's probably going to look something like this, like in the tutorial that I used. So after each equal sign, put your uh, product ID. This is going to be your device ID. That's where a lot of people got confused. And if you do this wrong, it's going to create an error message when you go to link into um, Amazon. And then on the next line, you can put your, uh, your client ID and your client secret. So again, device ID, client ID, client secret. Go ahead and hit Control X to save that. Now back in the command line, you're going to go ahead and run the install scripts. All right, when you're running this one, take note of the uh, the questions that it asks you. You just can hit Y for most of them. Um, some of them are going to ask you uh, like. UK versus US and I heard some comments of people getting um, ultimately their device is a little mixed up at the end probably because they didn't select the right options through this process but it's pretty straightforward just read the directions so this final part will take about 30 minutes I think for me it probably took closer to an hour to be honest and once that is done there's a couple things that you're gonna need to do every time that you start your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so you're gonna run these 
in three different terminal windows every time you start your Raspberry Pi in order to initiate the Alexa web service. This should open port 3000. And then in the second terminal window, this is going to launch a browser for you to register with Alexa. And this is going to open a window for you to authenticate your device. You can go ahead and log into your Amazon developer account here through your Raspberry Pi. All right, that's going to generate the Amazon sign-in page within your Pi. So you can go ahead and log in here. All right, once you log in, if that all works, you'll get a little notification that says device tokens ready. So from there, we're going to go ahead and initiate the voice activation service. All right, here's the last two for the wake word agents to initiate the voice activation. Um, let's go ahead and check it out now. So here it is all hooked up and running. I think I'm going to mount it up here so that you won't see it. Maybe I'll even mount that speaker up here flush too. Uh, let's give it a try. Alexa, what's the weather tonight? Currently in Henrietta, it's 75 degrees with partly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 55 degrees. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you like this video. And uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions.